Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Piscator Flies. Today I've got something a little bit different. I just went to the mailbox and had a little key in there for one of the package slots in our super box. So picked it up and we got a little box. So this happens to be from Firehole Outdoors, Montana Company makes hooks and other good things. Let's have a look what's inside. All right. Ooh. Very nice. Got a sticker. Put that up on here somewhere. Uh, but the main thing out of this package is this. This is an anodized laser cut aluminum uh, magnetic fly bench. So some of the features on this, get it out of the package here. Read this first. This is not for cutting on, it is magnetic. So let's test that out first of all. Now that's the uh, Prince Nymph we did for a tutorial yesterday or the day before. Looks pretty good. It's vertical. That's a bead head fly. That's a pretty good stick. So that's basically a whole package of Mustad R75s on there. I customized mine when I bought it and you have a few different choices and for an extra ten dollars you can have it personalized so I've got mine personalized here. I don't know if that'll show up on there but I just put my name and my company, Darren McEachern and Piscator Flies. So also, you see it's got a nice ruler down here for measuring out things like hackle and chenilles and whatnot, but also a really handy little hackle gauge. And also, one of the other choices that you have this grid system here. You can have that in either metric or imperial. And being as I'm in Canada, I chose the metric. Um, it would be kind of nice to have both on there because in Canada we tend to use both metric and imperial just because uh, we're so close to the States. So half of the stuff we talk about, like if you ask somebody how much they weigh, they're going to tell you in pounds. How tall are you? They're going to tell you in feet and inches. But if you ask somebody, depending on their age, if you ask somebody how far away Toronto is from your home, they'll tell you in kilometers. So there's also a, uh, a bead chart on here. So, um, and it's in both metric and imperial. So for 5 64th bead size, it's 2 millimeter for sizes 18 to 22 hooks. And then it goes up to... 7.30 seconds, which is a 5.5 millimeter bead, and from number two to number eight. That's really handy. That's something that uh, comes up a lot when you're tying flies, and rather than having to go look up on the internet uh, for a chart or something, you've got it right here. So yeah, the ruler at the bottom as well, it has both metric and imperial, but uh, like I said, the grid is, uh, this one is in, uh, metric but it has the option for imperial and of course they got a nice little fire hole logo there and i think there was a choice between i want to say seven or eight different options so different uh, prints here or no print so for i think the cost on this was 55 dollars us and it's a nice sturdy metal doesn't have a lot of flex in it and it's laser engraved and it's made in Bozeman, Montana. So if you want to 
support a North American company, this is a great way to do it. Uh, one other thing to note is just on the back, it's got these little rubber footings. So in the middle and on each corner, and that'll keep it sturdy on the, on the desk. But I really like the magnetic feature on there and it's a really nice stick on there. So if you're wondering if uh, it's worth it to grab one of these for your desk, I'd say go for it. It's uh, $65 and shipping to Canada was $17.50. So it's a little bit of an expense, but uh, the quality's there. And uh, I think this will be on my fly tying desk for quite a while. Hey fly tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.